Trustee Nielsen. Yeah. Father Onpot will uh, hear confessions throughout the holy hour. So just take turns going back there, take a break and go on back there. Okay. He's back. He's back there right now. And now let us together, together sing, O Salut Haris.
Please stand. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now, a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you might have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Please kneel. And now let us together pray the prayer of entrustment to the divine mercy. O oh Lord, our God, we place all our trust in you because you are mercy itself. We repent of our sins and turn to you for mercy. We trust you to provide for our every need according to your will. Help us to forgive others as you forgive us. We promise to be merciful by our deeds, words, and prayers. Though we have fears because of human weakness, we rely on your infinite goodness and mercy. We entrust to your mercy our very lives, our present situation, and our uncertain future. We entrust to you the future of our planet, our church, our nations, our families, and our needs. With loud cries, we implore your mercy on us and the whole world. Look upon us, created in your image and likeness. Form us in the heart of Mary by the power of the Holy Spirit into image of mercy. May all come to know the depth of your mercy and sing the praises of your mercy forever. Amen. Mindful of our own families, we now pray the prayer for healing the family tree together. 
Heavenly Father, I come before you as your child in great need of your help. I have physical health needs, emotional needs, spiritual needs, and interpersonal needs. Many of my problems have been caused by my own failures, neglect, and sinfulness, for which I humbly beg your forgiveness, Lord. But I also ask to forgive the sins of my ancestors, whose failures have left their effects on me in the form of unwanted tendencies, behavior patterns, and defects in body, mind, and spirit. Heal me, Lord, of all these disorders. With your help, I sincerely forgive everyone, especially living or dead members of my family tree who have directly offended me or my loved ones in any way or those whose sins have resulted in our sufferings and disorders. In the name of your divine Son, Jesus, and in the power of his Holy Spirit, I ask you, Father, to deliver me and my entire family tree from the influence of the evil one. Free all living and dead members of my family tree. Include those in adoptive relationships and those in extended family relationships from every contaminating form of bondage. By your loving concern for us, Heavenly Father, and by the shed blood of your precious Son, Jesus, I beg you to extend your blessing to me and all my living and deceased relatives. Heal every negative effect transmitted through all past generations and prevent such negative effects in future generations of my family tree. I symbolically place the cross of Jesus over the head of each family and my family tree. And between each generation, I ask you to let the cleansing blood of Jesus purify the bloodlines of my family lineage. Set your protective to encamp around us and permit Archangel Raphael, the patron of healing, to administer your divine healing power to all of us, even in areas of genetic disability. Give special power to our family members, guardian angels, to heal, protect, guide, and encourage each of us in our needs. Let your healing power be released at this very moment and let it continue as long as your sovereignty permits. In our family tree, Lord, replace all bondage with holy bonding and family love, and let there be an ever deeper bonding with you, Lord, by the Holy Spirit to your Son, Jesus. Let the family of the Holy Trinity pervade our family with its tender, warm, loving presence so that our family may recognize and manifest that love in all our relationships. All of our unknown needs we include with this petition that we pray in Jesus' precious name, amen. I trust in you. Divine mercy gushing forth from the bosom of the Father. Divine mercy, greatest attribute of God. Divine mercy, incomprehensible mystery. Divine mercy, fountain gushing forth from the mystery of the most blessed Trinity. Divine mercy, unfathomed by any intellect, human or angelic. Divine mercy, from which wells forth all life and happiness. Divine mercy, better than the heavens. Divine mercy, source of miracles and wonders. Divine mercy, encompassing the whole universe. Divine mercy, descending to earth in the person of the incarnate word. Divine mercy, which flowed out of the open wound of the heart of Jesus. Divine mercy, enclosed in the heart of Jesus for us and especially for sinners. Divine mercy, unfathomed in the institution of the sacred host. 
divine mercy in the founding of the Holy Church, divine mercy in the sacrament of holy baptism, divine mercy in our justification through Jesus Christ, divine mercy accompanying us through the whole life, divine mercy embracing us, especially at the hour of death, divine mercy endowing us with immortal life, divine mercy accompanying us every moment of our life, divine mercy shielding us from the fire of hell, divine mercy in the conversion of hardened sinners, divine mercy astonishment for angels incomprehensible to saints, divine mercy unfathomed in all the mysteries of God, divine mercy lifting us out of every misery, divine mercy source of our happiness and joy, divine mercy in calling us forth from nothingness to existence, divine mercy embracing all the works of his hands, divine mercy crown of all of God's handiwork, divine mercy in which we are all immersed, divine mercy sweet relish, sweet relief for anguished hearts, divine mercy only hope of despairing souls, divine mercy repose of hearts peace amidst fear, divine mercy delight and ecstasy of holy souls, divine mercy inspiring hope against all hope. Together we pray, eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love itself.
a prayer of longing for God. O oh God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet, shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. I will remember you upon my couch, and through the night watches I will meditate on you, that you are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell and on the third day rose from the dead. He sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the, in the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Holy, Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen.
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us
mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us
song of praise for God's goodness. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He is one renowned for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works, giving them the inheritance of the nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Prudent are all who live by it. His praise endures forever. the litany of the precious blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Christ, hear us. God, the Father of heaven. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Blood of Christ, only begotten Son of the Eternal Father, Blood of Christ, incarnate Word of God. Save. Blood of Christ, of the new and eternal testament. Save. Blood of Christ, falling upon the earth in the agony. Save. Blood of Christ, shed profusely in the scourging. Save. Blood of Christ, flowing forth in the crowning with thorns. Save. Blood of Christ, poured out on the cross. Save. Blood of Christ, price of our salvation. Blood of Christ, without which there is no forgiveness. Blood of Christ, Eucharistic drink and refreshment of souls. Blood of Christ, river of mercy. Blood of Christ, victor over demons. Blood of Christ, courage of martyrs. Blood of Christ, strength of confessors. Blood of Christ, bringing forth virgins. Blood of Christ, help of those in peril. Save. Blood of Christ, relief of the burdened. Save. Blood of Christ, solace in sorrow. Save. Blood of Christ, hope of the penitent. Save. Blood of Christ, consolation of the dying. Save. Blood of Christ, peace and tenderness of hearts. Save. Blood of Christ, pledge of eternal life. Blood of Christ, freeing souls from purgatory. Save. Blood of Christ, most worthy of all glory and honor. Save. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Save. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Save. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Save. You have redeemed us, O Lord, in your blood. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you have appointed your only begotten Son, the Redeemer of the world, and willed to be appeased by his blood. Grant, we beseech you, that we may worthily adore this price of our salvation and through its power be safeguarded from the evils of this present life, so that we may rejoice in its fruits forever in heaven through the same Christ our Lord, amen. amen.
a prayer of thanksgiving. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. In my straits, I called upon the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is with me. I fear not. What can man do against me? The Lord is with me to help me, and I shall look down upon my foes. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Together, let us pray this beautiful prayer for divine mercy. O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God. And it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out, Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth's exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you, we implore you. Anticipate us with your grace and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and at death's hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of the salvation's enemy, that we may with confidence, as your children, await your final coming, that day known to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus in spite of our own wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope through his merciful heart as the open gate we pass through to. And as we prepare for a benediction of the Blessed Sacrament, calling to mind our own personal intentions that we bring to this holy hour, and those for whom we pray, those who need even our mercy, let us together sing the two verses of Tantum Ergo. Let us sing those two verses in Latin.
You have given them bread from heaven, having within it all sweetness. Lord our God, in this great sacrament, we come into the presence of Jesus Christ, your Son, born of the Virgin Mary and crucified for our salvation. May we who declare our faith in this fountain of love and mercy drink from it the water of everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand. And now let us together pray the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed, Blessed be his be holy name. name. Blessed, Blessed be Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Let us conclude by singing the, the three verses of Holy God, we praise thy name.
You may keep the red pamphlets, the Divine Mercy red pamphlets. You can take those with you, but please return the uh, hardbound ones. Thank you.